Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you why you should not use the loop at internal table into clause, so the into statement. Instead, you should use field symbols. They have a lot of advantages. I would like to show you based on an example program I have written to measure the runtime and to explain to you also how you can modify entries within an internal table more comfortable and easier. Enjoy this video and let's get started. So first of all, instead of showing you those two programs I have written, so on the left hand side, the um, yeah, almost exact program to measure the runtime for your yeah, work areas, to loop over work areas, to use the into statement on, on the right hand side and other program to use a field symbol regarding the assigning operator. I would like to explain to you and give you an overview of field symbols. So field symbols are in general placeholders or symbolic names for existing data objects or part of existing data objects that are declared using the field symbol statement or the field symbol declaration operator. You can also use um, the field som uh, symbol declaration uh, inline. I, will, um, I have also made an own video about inline declaration. I will link this to you. And a field symbol is allocated memory at runtime. So this is really important to understand. Once again, a field symbol is allocated memory at runtime. A field symbol does not reserve physical memory in the data area of a program compared to a data object. So compared to a work area we can see on the left hand side. Instead, it acts as a dynamic name for a memory area where a particular data object or part of an object is located. A field symbol can be used instead of data objects at operand positions or statements. When a statement of this type is executed, a memory area must be assigned to a field symbol using the assign statement or the assigning addition when processing internal tables. So that is important to understand. So as mentioned, one, one big advantage is a better performance. So if you use uh, field symbols compared to the uh, data objects or compared to the into statement, um, your program will have a lot of better performance. So with the field symbol, there is no transport from the table body to a header line or a working area. Instead, only a cursor moves through the table. And this greatly reduces the data transport and improves the performance. And field symbols are 2 to 20 times faster than loop over work or areas. So here right now we can simply um, show you this based on an example. So on the left hand side, I am uh, or on uh, the both sides, I am selecting um, data from the table echo. Um, this is a table containing header information or about purchase orders. And then basically here I start to measure the runtime. So um, in between, I just loop over the work area. Um, within here, you could have to or you could do some operations. So you can modify your data and so on. But I just would like to loop over the internal table to show you um, yeah, the outcome and um, I don't want to have any effect about selecting data uh, and so on. And then after looping over this work area, I am yeah, 
end measuring the runtime and then I'm simply output. So I then simply output uh, in milliseconds what is the runtime and I also output how many lines are there in this internal table. And as you can see, I'm doing exactly the same or almost exactly the same on the right hand side, selecting data, starting measuring, looping over the internal table and using field symbols and and measuring the runtime. And now we can see on the left hand side, I execute this program. And now we can see that it took um, yeah, approximately 900 milliseconds and there are about uh, 1400 entries. And surprise, surprise, what happens if I doing exactly the same on the right hand side? Um, yeah, there it is really, really faster. So on the left hand side, you can, as mentioned, see um, up to 900 milliseconds and here up to 80 milliseconds for the same entries. And it's um, approximately 11 times faster. So this is has a huge benefit for just looping over this data. And if you want to, you can also put those two programs into one. So therefore I'm using uh, two radio buttons and then based on the selected radio button, you can decide whether you would like to use uh, the work area or whether you would like to use the field symbol and then also measure the runtime and output it. So therefore, yeah, um, just uh, pause this video right now and make any screenshot and then you're also uh, good to go. And compared to this, so to, to put an addition on this, I would like to open up the runtime analysis or so the transaction SAT to also show you a great advantage and benefit um, or field symbols compared to uh, data objects compared to the uh, loop at internal table into clause. So I therefore I open the transaction SAT. And then within here you have the runtime analysis and there you have the button tips and tricks. So, and this is in general uh, really uh, helpful. I can really recommend this to you because within here you get some performance tips um, and tricks within ABAP. And here, for example, um, you can open up internal tables and then using a sign in command and then modifying a set of lines directly. And and here, once again, you have two programs. Uh, so on the left hand side, you can see a loop at internal table into statement or clause and here an assigning. So within here, you're using um, field symbols and here data objects. And um, you can see there you have uh, basically 50 entries to be modified. And yeah, what happens um, compared to the performance? So, and therefore you click on the measure runtime button and then you can see that uh, the left program, so the into uh, clause, so the, um, yeah, the work area took about 25 microseconds and on the right, it took six microseconds. So, and therefore you can see once again that on the right hand side, modifying data is up to four times faster just in this example. And yeah, therefore I can highly recommend to uh, use field symbols. And of course on the work area, you have to use the modify statement. And within here, because you're just using a cursor, you're just pointing to the data. You're not transporting the data into the work area. You don't need any modify statement. So therefore, yeah, just uh, to use um, this, um, modifying directly um, to wire setting the data. And yeah, if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment section. Please like this video and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.